What is up guys, this is Ruboy Productions and welcome to another episode of the Kicking It Podcast. Today I am joined with Gilliam, or should I, should I say uh, Noxious? Let me say hello to the fine people. Let me say hello to the fine people. Oh, okay, I guess not. Um, uh, <laughs> Chimmy, would you like to say hello? Hello. Uh, Namta, aka Connor, say hello. Howdy. And the lovely and elegant Waffle. Like, elegant. That's why I said it. I didn't say about you though. Jesus Christ. This intro should cost more than a microtransaction. Yeah, um, so microtransaction, that's gonna be one of our main topics of today. Uh so uh what is that game? Star Wars Battlefront. Now, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but apparently there's been a lot of talks about how EA are doing their whole microtransactions on a game or Yeah, they're making it play to win uh, pay to win. So yeah. So how about we break down what they're actually doing? So but the thing is, I know what. To be fair, microtransactions, right? I reckon in a way, it's it's, it's nonsense. Why do you have to? You already bought the game. Why do you need yeah. to be buying shit already in the I game? Mean, you know what I mean, I mean, it depends on how they do it. Cause I like, I don't mind how Overwatch does it, but like Star Wars specifically, mm-hmm. from what I'm seeing, they're making like power ups and stuff that actually permanently progress your character is actually mm-hmm. locked behind. It- it's um, a little bit more than buy that. A game, you it's a little stuff. bit more than that because not only is it you can get stuff that progresses your character through the loot boxes, they've mm-hmm. made it so the loot boxes are the only way to progress. Your character. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's no leveling them... system; it's just the loot boxes. Yeah, so yeah that's they have my made issue it so it. you can essentially buy power. Yeah. You can get it by just playing the game, but you will end up with just duplicates. Um, and if you if you're actually looking for a, like a card, you're gonna end up having to buy loot boxes to get what you want. Because I saw, I don't know if you guys saw Angry Joe's video on this, but he um, pretty much broke it down to like, even if you do really well in the game, you don't get additional like, because there is something called uh, scrap in the game where you get, f- you get the scraps from uh, loot crates or loot boxes or whatever. And if you win or lose, it doesn't matter. Well, I think if you win, regardless, you'll get the same amount no matter how well you do. What's everyone's opinions on, on microtransactions? I'm actually curious. I don't mind cosmetic um, ones. I like it. <clears throat> I like it in Overwatch because it doesn't really affect the gameplay too much. Well, the thing but is, we've got, one... we've got to look at it, we've got to look at it right as an overall. It's not just about obviously what we like. We obviously got to open like open it up because obviously other people are going through these microtransaction things as well. So we've got to see it from an outside perspective. And uh, to be fair, microtransactions, I'm okay with it being on phones because it's just a pastime kind of thing. But when you actually go out and spend forty, sixty quid on a game, right? And then you you come to realize that you're actually going to have to spend another two, three, two, four quid on um, a little bits and bobs inside the game itself. I mean, it all adds up. Eventually, you're going to be on 100 quid already into that game. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pointless. I mean, if it's on the phone, I don't mind. Handheld stuff, right? But if it's on a, on a, on a big platform like gaming on PC or a console, I don't, I don't see it. Uh, I don't think it's fair, personally, anyway. I don't mind it being on a console as long as it's a free-to-play game. I mean, and it also depends on how they did do it, like I said. Okay, yeah, if it's a free-to-play game, yeah. But come on, Overwatch wasn't free-to-play, was it? No, no I think... Yeah, there we go, you know what I mean? And then we've got but... to buy stuff as well. That's just, well, you don't uh, have to buy yeah. anything to get them yeah. every level. The thing is, the thing is right, if it, was, yeah. if it was like the old school... If it was like the old school shooters where you can purchase DLC, then I'd understand because it's giving you not just a weapon, it's giving you... A, a few more maps or a few little devils. No, I mean, it gives you a little bit of something more than than just the one item for a couple yeah, of bits. Those are not uh, microtransactions. sections. That's expansions. Yeah, yeah so but this is what I'm saying. But this is what I'm saying. I'm okay. I'm okay with DLC. I'm not okay with microtransactions in video games because DLC gives you more than what a microtransaction can give mm, you, and a microtransaction yeah. makes you spend more money in the long run. Yeah. See, I'm fine with it so long as two criteria are met. A is all purely cosmetic. There's no like ways you can make your character stronger or anything like that. And B, you can still get those cosmetics in game yeah. by playing naturally. I don't know. So, so, like Ra- so similar to Rainbow Six then. Where you can you can you can have a purchase the skins or the or the mods and stuff, or you can actually play the game and open the the pack to see if you randomly get it. Yeah, well, that's I fine. Think, I think that's yeah, that's that is... Rainbow Six as well, but I think Overwatch is the single best example of how to do it. Yeah, because there's nothing like, there's no power associated with it. It's just I mean, literally all aesthetics. I, 
Star I Wars. Think Overwatch yeah. is on the lower end of acceptable, like almost at unacceptable. Just because the, if you get duplicates or the amount of coins you get that to, to, to buy skins and stuff like that with uh, later on, it's such such a low rate. There's, if you don't buy like a hundred loot boxes, you won't actually get. Uh, you won't never actually get a duplicate until you're like at like prestige three or something stupid like that. Hmm. Hold on, um, Lisa, you had something to say? Um, I was just going to say, Star Wars Battlefront is not going to have just cos- cosmetic. It's going to be upgrades to make your um, like your powers recharge faster. That you you can literally be stronger than other people if they don't buy their loot boxes. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the problem. Exactly. I don't like that. I prefer it with Overwatch where it's just cosmetic. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I will say from what I've heard and seen. The bonuses that you get in the loot boxes in uh, Star Wars aren't that much, don't make you that much better where you'll always win against someone who doesn't win them. It's still, if you're the better player, 9 out of 10 times you'll win. But like new player versus new player, it might give you that little edge to win, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's the, I don't like that still. If you look at certain of the uh, certain certain specific cards as synergized together, that's the biggest problem. Like an oh, ability, really? like yeah, like an ability that's usually thirty second cooldown. If you have one card, you get it goes down like for the uh, like fifty five percent. That's half. Whoa, uh, give or take. And then there's another another card that uh, is down, so it's only eighteen seconds base. So that's, then you have it like at the, uh, they can use that ability every nine seconds. That's a fucking massive difference. It's a difference between having Mercy having a rest uh, in like an Overwatch having it uh, once uh, every half minute or once every 10 seconds. Yeah, but I think you're putting too much value on just how useful abilities are in that game. I think abilities in Overwatch are a lot more powerful than they are in that stuff. I'm not defending the microtransactions. I think it's horrible. But, but the thing is, we're still talking on 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 a, on the basis of just Overwatch. We've got to think about everything else. Though, you know what I mean? We're using too much of Overwatch as a main example. I understand that, but we're just using that because it has like the one of the probably best out of all the microtransaction games. But I do see what you're saying. If you've got any other examples, actually, I do have one. Um, Shadow of War, apparently. I don't know if you guys want to... I don't know too much about the microtransactions on that game. I don't know if Connor wants to elaborate on that. Well, uh, go on. Do you want me to say Yeah, like the end game, you can either grind or you have to pay a fuck ton to, uh, in loot boxes. That's how you get the true ending to the game. Mm. Otherwise, you just get the, like uh, another, like oh, we don't know what's happening. Bullshit. Connor, do you want to say your piece? That's uh, well, it's pretty much what I've heard as well. Um, it's all the loot box stuff is mainly to do with the end game. Nothing major to do with the actual when you're playing the game and you know all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm oh, sorry. Go on, Connor. Sorry. I was just gonna say in general. Don't like that they've got microtransactions on a single player game. I don't see the point of that. But, I yeah. agree. Yeah, Alyssa, do you have um, anything I to add? Or I don't know too much about this game, but um, I'm if it doesn't affect the single player, then I'm okay with it. But it sounds like it does. It's really weird to me. Um, single isn't player. Shadow on- huh? So I was just gonna say, isn't Shadow War- Shadow of War only a, a, a single player game? Oh yeah. Duh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So if there's like, so how do you feel about a game with microtransactions on a single player game? How do you feel about that? I don't like that. I mean, it's meant to be a game that you just buy and just have some fun with it. You don't have to keep being pestered to buy something to make your, make it more enjoyable. I mean, I think people, it just makes the experience easier for people who might find it too hard. But I think that that might... Then have an easy mode instead. No, I agree, but I'm just saying they might. In, or they want money. They want to make money, don't they? But um, they, I think they're trying to like make an excuse to like I don't know. If the gameplay is so shit, you don't want to do it. Then why are you putting in a, like a credit card system where you can uh, skip all the gameplay? No, I exactly. I agree with that. That's what I'm saying. There's no point of actually playing the game. I will say from what I hear about how they've done it is, um, all the quality testers like. The testers of the game and all of that have all played it with the microtransactions turned off, so they've balanced the game in terms of enjoyment around mm. not having any 
micro detection bonuses. I didn't realize like, you could turn it off. No, they could, it's like, like yeah, they just don't have any of the benefits oh, you would have from having micro transactions. The reason why I don't look too much into that is because they could easily change the numbers at, at launch. They probably just made it less grindy or whatever for people. Or the QA can also like, uh, like they have fast tra they have like uh, usually usually QA doesn't do like a complete uh, playthrough as well. So they only do like they only test like a certain section of a quest. Like complete this quest, go this. Now you're done. Now teleport over here and test this other thing. They don't do a complete game uh, playthrough at all. So they don't, don't they don't really feel get to, to feel the game the way we do. Yeah, I, I'm not 100 percent sure that's necessarily true. I think some qual some QA testers will do that, but other like they want a QA tester who plays it all the way through so that they can see if there's any bugs in places they would have missed it. Otherwise, there'd be no point to the QA testers in the first place. Yeah, yeah that might stuff. vary. It's, Gone waffle. Like uh, that's only a small. They only do that like they don't do that often at all. They only they test the things they change. They don't test everything and see if there's something break. If like if uh, their uh, old world is broken randomly. Yes, sir, did you have something to say? Alyssa? No, no, I'm just uh, I'm listening to all your guys' opinions. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, Connor, do you wanna? What about Gilliam? He hasn't said anything for a while. No, I'm alright. I'm not. I said my point to be fair on this topic. To be fair, I mean, like I said, I still agree with what I said earlier about microtransactions should just be on mainly portable handhelds like phones and stuff and tablets but <laughs> for example Candy Crush I agree with that you know what I mean I mean if you want quickly speed up your lives you can play a quick 40p get some extra lives and stuff you know what I mean I don't, I don't mind that because at the end of the day not many people are actually going to buy it just because you can just put your phone back in your pocket go about your life come back in about 5 minutes and you've got another life <laughs> As in, if you're paying more than forty quid and forty quid, and you obviously still have to buy for certain bits for your plays to get better. I mean, I don't agree with that. The only the only thing I agree with is DLC. Obviously, I know that it's not microtransactions, but I do agree with DLC because it's not just one person's getting benefit. It's everyone that plays the game that buys the DLC that's getting benefited on. But for microtransactions in game in general, I, I personally I just don't agree with it. I mean, because say for instance, we all play the same game, right? This you guys are talking about Overwatch, to Overwatch, right? You guys buy something, all of you buy something that's a, a microtransaction and it betters off your player. What about that one person that can't buy it? You know what I mean? That wants to buy, but can't buy it. Now he's gonna have to go a whole different way about it to try to get it compared to everyone else that just took that shortcut. So in the long run, I don't really agree with it, man. So I, I don't agree with it. That's all. That's all. I mean, well, that's why I said cosmetics only, like the way Overwatch does it, because there won't ever be that situation in games like to do it like Overwatch does, because you don't get any. It's really just skins, isn't it? Yeah, it is all just skins. Like there's no actual benefits to your character. You don't deal more damage. You don't get better abilities or anything like that. It's just how your character yeah. looks. All right, just to conclude this topic, do you guys have anything like? Because we've been going back and forth a little bit. Um, yes. Do you guys have like a final thing, say for this topic? Go on, the thing on. that's very different with the loot boxes right now is the fact that, like, yeah, I don't know <laughs> how much you guys know about gambling, but currently, like, yeah, gambling among twenty-year-olds and like millennials is currently at like yeah, it's super low. Like uh, casinos are starting to not be able to fill them uh, fill uh, up anymore due to how a few people there are. So mostly due to all the, we already understand and we can get our fix on shining lights with uh, video games instead. I also want to say one thing. Like apparently, um, I've heard that developers have been hiring psychologists to actually help them, like with these microtransactions and stuff, to see how they can get people addicted. And to like gambling in their games. Yeah. This is stuff I've been hearing. Yeah. Like this is new. Like we want, if we're gonna, gonna gamble something, we want an, we get a, a guaranteed uh, output. So we actually don't feel like we're wasting money, unlike uh, someone else who can just pull the, the lever on a slot machine all day. Right. And. Uh, like you, st you still get all the benefit of getting a big payout when you when it happens, like the, all the psychological triggers and stuff like that. Do you think games like TF2 and CS:GO had 
co- contribute to no not in a bad way but like they kind of started the, the this trend of like um having like in-game like things like items and stuff you can unlock or you can pay for it yes you think they kind of popularized the popular you know the one i'm trying to say made it popular yeah. like like team fortress uh, i think that was the like it was the leader who made it how it is now pretty much yeah hat fortress too <laughs> But they also only made the cosmetic, so. Yeah, well, it starts off innocent, then it gets kind of, you know, especially when EA and Activision get like, get that idea. Mm. Yeah. Are you guys, anything else, or can we move on to the next topic? Um, I'm happy to move on if you guys are. Gideon, yeah, okay. Connor, you got yeah, something I'm to say? In agreement. Okay, okay, okay. So, Gideon, you brought up this topic to me. Oh, oh. Which one? What was that? <laughs> um, cross-platform play. So you were... Uh, I know you brought this up last week that you think cross-platform play will be great for the industry or... Should we just think, talk about like cross-platform in just general? Just talk about it in like, general, you know what I mean? Just talk about it in general. Not just online. I mean like every game being like... Because I know me and Connor spoke about this a lot. Everyone's like, got their own game. opinions on, on, on the topic, you know what I mean? So let's just talk about it in an opinionated way, you know what I mean? And we'll just put like we did with the microtransactions. To be okay, fair. so yeah, yeah. So, Connor, you said, um, I'll let you start off with this one, because you said first-party games like, are, like, bad for the consumer, you said? In, uh, so, when we're talking about cross-play, elaborate a little bit, because... So, I'm, cross-play, I mean, like, okay, I kind of changed it in the last minute, I'm sorry. I mean, we can talk about, like, cross-network play for consoles, like Xbox and um, the PS4, but we can also dab on to, like, exclusives, in, the thing well, is, right? the thing is, if it's an exclusive, depending on what time you're using it, and the exclusive is mainly going to be like just Xbox, right? No, yeah, just an exclusive to that one uh, specific. Yeah, platform. see, then, then that's that's out of the question. I'm talking about main games where. No, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we can talk about both. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. We can like oh, okay, connect them. Fair enough. In... So we can talk. Who wants to? Who wants to roll the ball first? Then I thought Connor wants to say something. Him talk. I think in regards to exclusives i think it's incredibly anti-consumer uh i mean you don't agree it, with it not not at all no i think if a game comes out it should come out on all platforms i don't think because for example look at how many people who would like to play uncharted but they only have enough money for one console they chose to buy an xbox a year ago whatever or and then my games Sorry? Or the Persona games. I really want to play that. Well, yeah, any exclusive I've used Uncharted as an example. So that I'm guessing what... Sorry. player then can't go and play Uncharted purely because of the console they chose. And I just don't think that's a great... I mean, it was a great business model in terms of making money for them. Mm-hmm. But in terms of better for... Gaming so you're saying so? Hold on, if to get, I just want to see if I understand this. So you're saying if someone's got <clears throat> just the money to get the old generation console, right? And if they buy that, it's not cross-platform compatible, is what you're trying to say, and they're missing out. I'm saying I think that when developers make a game, there should be none of these exclusive deals made with like the console developers or anything like that. It should just be developers making. Oh, oh, okay. So you mean you yeah. just open it up to every console? Yeah, but yeah. Like, that's uh, that's looking at the just from the consumer uh, perspective. Well, right. developers well, make I, money I, as I well. Kinda, okay, so if we're talking about that, right, that's not really into what we're talking about. Right? This is going a bit off topic, but I'm, it's still a topic I really want to touch. Right, when we're talking about that specifically, I just want to say I understand where 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 waffles is just about to come in and say, but we've got to see it like this, right? So you're you're saying you don't agree with it being exclusive, right? Now, say for instance, all five of us now, we own a gaming company. All the games that we've been publishing has to comply with every piece of hardware that all five of us use, and it has to be compatible with every every hardware. Now, for instance, if one of our companies has better hardware than everyone else, and we want to solely make a game that pushes our our, our hardware to the limit and our potentials to the limit, or I, I don't know if I'm using the word right, <laughs> and it pushes it to the limit, then I'm going to have to make an exclusive deal with a gaming company. For example, Uncharted made it with PlayStation so that they can push their hardware and show what, 
what they've got to do. Because now, if that wasn't an exclusive, they're now going to have to comply also with Xbox and maybe Nintendo, if, if it's going to be Nintendo compatible as well, with their hardware. So now they're going to have to limit how far they push their game because now they have to worry about also Xbox's hardware and their limits. Because now if I make a game and it's open for all three of us, all five of us, and I make it to the best of my ability and I make and I say, okay, now Connor, here you go, try this on your hardware and it doesn't work for long, because bro. it's too much. No, 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 but, but no, you know what I'm saying though. Bad points. But you know what I'm saying though? Like if I now make a game and, if, and, I've, and it's exclusive and I say, okay, Connor, try this on your hardware and it doesn't meet the standards that your hardware can take, it's not going to work. So this is where the exclusives come in. Exclusives is just mainly because you want to push that point off to the consumers what kind of hardware potential we really have. As for open games which go into every console, have to be limited to their hardware inside their console. If you know what I'm saying. I don't know if I've blabbed on about too much stretch. No, I, 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 I understand you know what, what I'm saying. saying. Hold on. Hold on. Can we get, like, can we and Alyssa haven't actually given, given our opinions. You only three are talking to Alyssa. Do you want to actually share your opinions on this? I don't know what I'm saying. As well. Okay. Oh, sorry. You go next waffle. Then uh, I mean, I agree with everyone's point. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something to say to that. Um, no, you could if you oh, if you don't case, have anything right at the moment, just let waffle go. Yeah, let the waffle, waffle talk. The, the thing is, the thing with exclusives isn't that uh, like you have to consider it from all uh, when you consider like a topic like that. You have to also consider it not just from the consumer, and you also have to consider it from developers and I the agree. publishers and yeah. the console owners to actually as you said uh, you said that uh, they wanted to show off the, what that console can do but as, yeah yeah it's also also another example right just to show oh no 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 Gilliam, you had uh, enough to uh, say that everyone else... oh, no, I thought he was that I thought he was that one no <laughs> I have a lot more to say thanks but uh and specifically about Uncharted 4, they, Naughty Dog is owned by Sony and therefore it's only on PlayStation. That's the only reason that the, that's the only reason that, that game is actually an exclusive. It's because Sony wants an exclusive to show it off, as uh, you said. But uh, for the developers, when they do that, you actually limit the market pool to people who, who can buy the game. And therefore you will get a lot less revenue. That is ultimately a bad deal for you. So to actually get an exclusive from a third-party developer as a console owner or a console uh, developer, then you, need to, you have to actually pay them enough money to count to look to counter the potential gain from the other markets, and that is super expensive. And that is also why we almost have zero exclusives and almost always just timed exclusives, quote unquote. Okay, so I'm in, in agree- I'm in agreement with both of you, like both sides, because mm-hmm. I see like when it comes to like third party developers, I do think they should be on as many platforms as possible. Obviously, it's not like I don't think that Sony, for example, should have any influence on like I don't know, like Ubisoft releasing Assassin's Creed only on PS4. It should be Ubisoft's choice, not Sony giving them money and be like, oh, give us exclusive shit of stuff. <clears throat> but um, at the same time. <laughs> But at the same time, if Sony fund their own one of their own first party party um companies like Naughty Dog, they they're owned by Sony. If they if Sony are funding the game hundred percent, I think it only makes sense to actually put it on their platform because they funded it hundred percent. No other company actually invested in that game, so it's only fair that oh, so their money. It's more about uh, Sony as the uh, as the head company. They don't uh, they don't just look at the revenue from the game. They also look at the potential increase and like a uh, widening and like increasing how many people own a playstation so the thing is in a way i don't agree with exclusive i agree with it to the point where you can push your your, your hardware of that specific console to 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 a limit i don't agree with it and being limit, the limited that, actually uh, I don't, I, the thing is i don't agree with it being limited just because say for instance now <clears throat> i've got an xbox you have a nintendo or someone else has a, uh, a playstation I want to be able to be like, guys, let's pick up this game and let's all play it. And this is where also uh, cross-platform comes into it as well. I will, why should we go out and spend more money to get on the same console just for one game? You know what I mean? I want to be like, okay, you've got an Xbox One, I've got a PS4, you have a PC or, or a Nintendo. Bro, let's just 
get this game, let's jump on the online, cross-play it, all our hardware works with it. Now, if it's exclusive, I mean, we're all going to have to then get, get get the console, get the game, and then all play it. You know I mean, we're all going to have to go around. And, and that's just long, but I mean, cross-platform should be in every game, or at least in every latest game that's going to come out now, starting now, as we are moving into the future. I mean, if we have VR, I'm pretty sure cross-play can't, I mean, cross-platform can't be that bad to make either or, or allow. Yeah, it has been done before. Um, as, as for the exclusives, I, I, for the exclusives, I agree and I disagree. I think it all comes down to, obviously, how, how the developers and, 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 and the publishers see it. But my opinion would be I don't agree with it, but in a way I kind of agree with it because you get to push that hardware to a limit. It's like if every game on PC was kept to console standards, that means we won't be able to push our resolution and all of that stuff up on the settings Point. because yeah, you know what I mean just because uh, it's on PC and on console doesn't mean that uh, you have the exact same oh. version of the game hold on, hold on getting when you finish no, no, talking but, or? But, but, but hold on, but that's what I was saying that's what I'm, I'm not saying it's the exact same version what I'm saying is if it's an exclusive we won't be able to do that so for instance if Uncharted was just on PC then we could push that shit to a, to a whole different level because we can we've got graphics cards that we can upgrade we've got settings that we can fiddle about with as for it being on console, it's got to stay to that console. Because, for instance, if you buy a PS4 now, you buy Uncharted now, in about two years or three years, the graphics and the resolution and the gameplay will all be the same because it's all stuck to that hardware that's built into that console. As, oh. if, it was the, as if it was for a PC, even in two years' time, we can still upgrade our hard drives, our, our hardware, and, and make mods and stuff to make it better. So you oh, see what really? I'm saying about exclusives or not? That only that's only valid if the developers who created the game actually put in those options to at launch or like yeah, yeah at least to the last last update. Yeah, but, but because, because because ninety-nine percent of the games that you get on PC, you can go into settings and upgrade uh, up and down your resolution and and VSync and all of this yeah, and all of like that. The, the upper limit on the resolution is never gonna change after release. Of course, it's but almost, it's almost gonna be. Like it's our well, of course, but, 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 the, but the fact, like the fact that, but the yeah, fact that you English. can go in, but the fact you can go into settings and change that already shows that you can do that on Gilliam. PC. As for consoles, you can't. Gilliam, let me finish <clears throat> the sentence. There was a full spot right there. But when uh, you, when you look at t- ten-year-old games, stuff like uh, I don't know Diablo two. two. The upper resolution on that is uh, not seven, like 1080 or something like that. It's more like some weird like box re- resolution like that's uh, from C- uh, CRT monitors. Like that limit is never gonna be increased at any point. <laughs> that's the things that I mean. Like uh, developers don't add in options that they don't think that they don't know already exists. So you can't increase it just exponentially uh, yeah, later on. Uh, that's that's only something you can do if your computer is not at the top end currently, and you increase right, top but... end later. All right, well, guys, we gotta move on because we are on this topic for quite a while. I do like what getting how he brought up the whole um, cross-platform thing earlier. Even though we haven't and... spoke about that really, <laughs> we were talking about exclusives. You know what I mean, <laughs> I want, I liked how you brought it up. I, want, I was going to continue on that, but you guys kept going back to the. Mm-hmm. Also, something else about and exclusives. Almost all of them are single-player games with like a tap, uh, just a tap on uh, multiplayer options. That's not really important. Well, that's really opinion aided because Enchanted has like a, a, a large in multiplayer fan base. Like, I used to be a part of it, and yeah, there's a lot of content on that. So I wouldn't say it's not important because they invest but a lot you, of money on the multiplayer. Like, yes, because you're gonna repeat the content doesn't mean it's large. Like it's not more a lot of development time to add in the multiplayer. I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of content there, and now I played it a lot, and there was a lot there. And I enjoyed yeah, but what's, it. Which, uh, which side is the most important part, the single player <coughs> or the multiplayer? Obviously, the single player. Exactly. Well, multiplayer brings people back. That's why there's always these map packs and stuff. If they didn't really care about it, they wouldn't really bother with all that stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, it's also one more way to. Like, adding in options for people to pay more is always something. It's like. And that's why you can buy $60 games though with the $200 extra content and stuff like that. All right, we can't, well, we've got to move on. <laughs> we've been on this for quite a while. Okay, so Gilliam, let's go back to... Da, da, da. You said the online um, multiplayer being cross-platform. Do you want to 
Shit, can, do you want to like? I mean, with the cross-platform it? stuff, right? I, I think nowadays with the modern age and technology that we have, we should really work on making things new, the new game, all the uh, making all the new games cross-platform. Sorry, I, I lost my words there for some reason. All right, um, I really think that we should really improvise and really bring out that cross-platform just because like i said earlier even though i was talking about exclusives about people having different consoles but having the same game and we all have online why can't we just burst each other i mean it's technically i'm not going to say technically the same server but it's technically apart from each other in a way because it's still multiplayer all you're doing is all you're doing is breaking that barrier that limits it to one con to that console or to that xbox or playstation barrier kind of thing you break that wall down and all these people can now play together the same game i mean you're not taking the consumer away from anyone you're still you're still going to own that xbox or own that playstation but you're also going to own that game regardless you're going to buy that console or regardless you're going to buy that game all you're doing is letting the people that that have it and own it enjoy it with everyone else it's similar to it's similar to like religion. I mean, there's a division there with consoles. There's going to have to be a division on the multiplayer to how far you can really use it. I mean, I still think cross platform should should be in every game. You should be able to play it with all your friends if they have it. And that, obviously, not every single friend has the same console. So something that's just me in general. The, it, something interesting you said at the start, where it's all based on the same servers. Technically, they all like all of the multiplayer games that they are out. They they actually use data clusters and they all uh, and essentially it's all based on the same in the same ones. So even though you play on a on a PlayStation or an Xbox, you use the same data cluster usually. Since they yeah, are... exa- exactly. So we should be able to do a cross platform then. Yeah. The and I don't see why the they, they don't allow it. That, though is that to actually play together, you need to use the same net code and like the same like coding and the. Due to different standards with PlayStation and Xbox, where each one is optimized for their specific console, if they actually had like someone, someone, one of them has to actually either have to develop a completely new one together, and since they're rivals, they don't really like to do that in case one of them fucks each other over, or one of them has to go over on the other one's net code, which they will never do, since it, then they're. A, the, rib- the biggest rival in the industry. But then why couldn't they... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, we need more people talking. Like, we can't have... This is not two people podcast. Alyssa, uh, Connor, do you guys want to add on to the conversation? How's that just interrupting like that? Bro, so, so. come on, we need... <laughs> we need... Connor? Connor, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Cool. I'm just listening. Do you want... Do you have anything to add? Because you guys haven't spoke. Well, we, we, us, we haven't really said anything for a while. We need more people talking. I think that... Um, I do understand the cross-platform play in terms of just if I wanted to play Siege on Xbox with my friend on PS4, it'd be very hard to do in terms of the, all the background that Waffle was talking about, for example. Um, still, I think there's ways they could make it work and they would probably profit off of it, to be honest. But I think that because I because I know Microsoft because I hold on because I know Microsoft they're they're like really open to it at the moment but I know but apparently Sony are the ones that are really like against it from what I've out of the two Sony up. have always been a little bit more anti-consumer than Xbox. No, I totally I agree with you on that. Um, Alyssa, do you have an opinion on this? Hold on, I'll get to you after. <clears throat> I'm just agreeing with everyone's point at the moment. Um, I like the idea of cross-play, but I can see how it would be, I don't know, how have issues with that. Um, I'm not sure, I don't have an opinion for this at the moment. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me just start talking and then not say anything. Yeah. Right, anyway, <laughs> you know what, you know what Waffle, hold on, you know what Waffle was saying? You know what Waffle was saying about, obviously, um, the code base? Uh, yeah, and obviously having the visual people to actually make it quick. I forgot what you were saying about what the words were. But couldn't they then potentially hire someone to be a middleman and make that connection happen? So you have yeah. the people that the company yeah, hires. So you've got, the comp- you've got the people that the company actually hires to be devoted and loyal to them. And then you've got that person to be in charge of bringing that two together. 
Doesn't Street Fighter Five do yeah, that? But the, yeah, but like a company doesn't want to create more. Like they want to cre- don't want to create uh, an individual who has power over them. Like they want to be independent and be able to have the maximum amount of control. If they but give it over the no, control imagine... to someone else, then they they effectively control what you can do. With okay, so okay, so with that said, right, you're talking about obviously giving that code. Now, what if they make a second one, which doesn't have as much power, and it's only for those people that have the option. So, for instance, you've got multiplayer, and then in the multiplayer section, you have the cross-platform section. And that could also that could then be that little bit. Yeah, but the the only way to have like less powerful code is if you have like with like increased lag and worse response time. And who and and then if you have that at that point, like whichever console has the has a, like you reveal the flaws in your console when you do mm. have crossplay like that, like immediate True. crossplay. And then then you can have like you know then some might be. Like uh, maybe someone figures out that Xbox One has ten milliseconds better response time and shit like that. At which point, right. the uh, game like my gamers will migrate to that system. Yeah, true. Okay. All right. Final thoughts. Is what everyone has one thing to say about this now. We're on conclusion. I like Twins. All right. Let's see. Um, <laughs> one, one last thing to say on this topic. Anyone? Unless uh, no, I mean that's. I think just... the... Connor, Waffle, one more thing to say. Keep it brief, if you do. I, I think I've said pretty much all I can say about it, so I think they can make it happen. They just don't want to. Yep. You think it's business reason? Oh, you yeah, it's 100%. Business reasons? Yeah, Compton is, is what is is making those consoles thrive. Uh, also, I wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't get a chance to. Like, I think it's also, like, because Sony's dominating the market, I think... It's a lot of these multiplayer games they don't want it to really they, they want people to be like okay that word of mouth so if say oh like for you for example Connor you got Xbox right and I got PS4 let's just say that and um, I got like I don't know Monster Hunter the Sony don't want you to we don't want Sony wants you to get a PS4 they don't want you to play on Xbox and play with me because they know it's like most of your friends are, your friends are most likely to have a PS4 mm. So, so it's like, oh, I should get a PS4 too because all my friends have it. So it's like one of those ones, and they don't want you to really play because it doesn't help their, their well, strategy. I think it's just a business strategy. Yeah, but it's kind of like how the Republican Party is currently in power in the USA, in that Hold they are powerful now because of all the rules they've actually forced in. But once they lose power, they're going to be so so deep in the red that they can't actually... Like, if, they don't, if they're not uh, willing to collaborate now once they lose the dark market dominance they're gonna be in the shit because now then their rival won't be willing to collaborate with them like it, that's uh, what they lose out on it if they okay if they're not willing to compromise right i just got a crazy like i just had deja vu and i don't know like it's like we had this conversation before even though we haven't <laughs> okay so <laughs> all right so guys i think we're gonna wrap things up i think we've said our piece on all these the, the all the subjects um if you guys want to elaborate on one more thing on a specific subject you want to go back to just say your final piece it could be anything the microtransactions the crossplay what if you guys remember what we spoke about i think microtransactions should only be on phones and i think crossplay should be in every game and if it's exclusives try it try and make them we don't have time for rep- rep- the repetitive stuff. We've got, uh, guys, um, anyone else? How are you going to ask for final words? Get final words and say, no, no, good time for that. <laughs> I meant, no, I meant something. That's what I'm saying. That I... That's what I'm saying. Yo, who wants to order pizza? Actually, no, we ain't got time for that. <laughs> I meant that you want to add on to it, not saying the same opinion you said. Alyssa, like bring man, end the podcast, innit? <laughs> Unless uh, anything uh, else you want to add on no, to it, any of the I following subjects. I've, I've said my piece. It's... And the same, I'm just asking because in case someone forgot to mention something or they didn't get a chance to actually mention their final yeah. say on something. I'm nope, good. I'm good. Uh, waffle? Not really. Not really? No? You sure? Yeah, okay. I'm fairly sure I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, guys, I guess that's it for us. You guys, uh, so why are you sending me messages, bro? Sorry. I'm distracting my that's... outro. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Uh, God, uh, amateurs anyway that's us done for this week's episode well this month I want to make sure uh, do you guys want to do this as a monthly thing because we don't have a schedule at the moment you know what we'll talk about this after the 
this recording. Yeah, anyway, do you guys want to say goodbye to the uh, beautiful people, the beautiful viewers? Bye. Thank Good you for watching. watching. See you next time. Uh, Peace. Goodbye. Do, do you guys have any social media you wanna or no. anyone you wanna shout out? Lord no. no. Get him. Come on, get him. Come on. I know what's you. What's this postcard? Postcard. No, no, no. What's this podcast like getting at least a hundred views? <laughs> postcard. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's gonna fuck it. <laughs> oh, okay, too, too, too small for you, okay, big man, Mr. MMA star. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but do you wanna. What about your new YouTube channel you're setting up? Do Just you wanna... end it. Listen, big man, come on, the fuck you <laughs> okay. doing? I wanna play some battle, Okay, battle, fine. Man. Okay, <laughs> fine. Alright, I'm gonna knock at your door. I'm gonna knock your computer, bro. Angry Portuguese man right here. Okay. See ya, people. Well, bye. Say bye, my angry Portuguese man. Ciao. It was okay. I personally think it was alright. Apart from the cutting in, fam, when someone's saying something, I'm gonna punch you in your neck for that. Bro, what was cutting people off the most? Why am I getting the heat? <laughs> you both get punched in the neck. Everyone's cutting you, you know where I live. Come on, then. It doesn't count as cutting off if you, if you start talking mid, mid mid my fucking sentence. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, Gilliam. <laughs> yeah, Gilliam. Yeah, yeah. like tra- it's not like a traffic order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gilliam. <laughs> No, uh, I'm You did bring up some good stuff, man. You did well, man. I'm proud of you. All right, can we play some fucking battlefront before I get mad? Yeah, we can. We can. <coughs> oh, you already mad? You sound mad. You. Well, he just wants to shoot some bitches. Come on. Oh, actually, I'm talking about shooting bitches. I'm actually. I might actually shoot some bitches. Let's play this game. Pause. What? 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 How's that? A he pause? said. He said. He said, speaking as, well, you know what, never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> what? Right, so who's actually got this game? I'm, I'm waiting.